What's going on YouTube? This is Rabo at the Bench, and today I have uh, sort of a head-to-head, -head, um, but uh, I am becoming the thing that I tried so hard not to become, but I'm giving in and doing it anyway. Uh, so I've done this a couple times now, but I originally said, hey, head-to-heads are going to be knives that are of uh, you know roughly the same price uh, and kind of intent, um, and I've deviated from that slightly. Uh, but I'm going to do the same thing um, that I did with a recent video where I compared uh, the CRKT Pilar to the Spyderco Dragonfly. I'm not going to actually put a head-to-head -head of these because if we were to run through these categories, the uh, the Delica here would win uh, every category, I think. Uh, pocket clips, better. Scales, I think you can make a case that those are better. Overall size, um, probably more efficient. Ergonomics, definitely, uh, well... I don't know. Ergonomics might be the one that that uh, that they tie on. Um, action detent's probably a little bit nicer. The blade is is on these two definitely better. Steel absolutely objectively better. Lock system. It's a back lock, so maybe they tie on that one. Uh, yeah, they probably tie on that one. And then the intangibles. It's like, yeah. I mean, you're gonna reach for the Delica if you have to choose between these two. So I mean, it's it's gonna be a Delica winner. I don't really know what that gives anybody. Um, and so what I thought I would do, though, is just, I, you know, I strongly believe and have for a while that the K-Bar Dozier is uh, insanely Delica-like, and it may be the right choice for some people. So I thought, you know, maybe there are people out there who don't want to pay the whatever, whatever this is trending at now. I know, you know, when I bought um, the Delica, it was, I want to say I paid under $60 for it. It might have been 60 uh, you know, I think it's now like 80 or 75 or something like that. So, you know, maybe you've heard a lot about the Delica. You don't really want to pay that much for a VG10 blade. I understand that. I think it's still a good knife. Um, but I thought maybe I'll just give one other option and kind of show some of the similarities, some of the differences, and really what the cost difference is here. Because you're looking at a knife that you can get under $20. Um, so, you know, be smart about it. I paid $16 shipped for this. Now, I think retail, you're gonna pay 20 to 25, um, but you can get one under 20 bucks if you, you know, look out for one. Um, the Delica, like I said, uh, you can probably get one used for maybe 60 bucks and pay new 75, 80, something like that. Um, but you can probably get one of these cheaper than retail. However, I thought, let's just talk through them and kind of show some of the similarities and differences, and then you can draw your own conclusions and make your own decision kind of about which one you want to go to. So aesthetically, there's no denying that these two knives are similar. You can look at them right now, and you can see FRN scales, Zytel scales. You can see a pocket clip, which is an aftermarket clip, so I should have put the spoon clip back on, but I did not. So you can see if you look at a stock Delica that the spoon clip here and this clip here are fairly similar. Um, they're both backlocks. They both have this, uh, this is a spidey hole. This is uh, a dozier hole. I don't know what you call this. Um, but you basically have the same opening mechanism. You just have one that's probably copyrighted and you have one that is trying to get around that copyright. Um, you have a full flat grind. You have not a full flat grind, but not too far off from it. Um, you have what I wish was a flat grind on this. Um, you have a coated blade on this one, but you can get them without the coated blade, and I highly recommend it. I'm not a huge fan of the coated blade for a couple reasons, um, and I'll go into those in my review. Um, you also have uh, the Zytel and FRN scales that are designed very similarly. So you have a logo in the middle here on both of these. Uh, you have uh, the kind of jimping, or not jimping, but the, the texturing here. So while the spider co is a bi-directional texturing it's more intricate more involved in terms of how they make that and the complexity this one is fairly simple both of them work absolutely you know great uh the, there's really you know i would say there's a, there is definitely an advantage here but it's not that much of an advantage so they're they're very very similar um, in terms of handle materials and i think they're roughly equivalent in size so let's do a quick check between the two of these so on your Delica, you're going to be looking at 2.3 ounces. And on your Dozier, you're going to be looking at 2.2 ounces. So nearly identical in terms of the weight. Uh, and then I will go ahead and uh, do a quick, uh, some, some measurements on these. 
So 2.7375, somewhere in there, sharpened blade length and 2.61, so you know, fairly close. You have a definitely a longer blade on the Dozier. Uh, in terms of in the pocket when you're carrying these guys, you're looking at 4.26 on the Spyderco and 4.22 on the Dozier, so pretty close there. And then let's do the width, or the thickness, I'm sorry, 0.38 inches versus 0.38 inches. So there you go. Um, so hopefully that just made the case to you that there are some similarities between these two knives. Now, uh, full transparency, when I first got a Dozier, it was this one. And actually, I thought uh, when I got this one, man, this thing is just like a Delica. Um, and uh, yet, you know, it looks kind of different, right, with the blade. Um, but then I found that there's a Dozier with a different blade style, and it's like, oh yeah, this is just like a Delica. All right, so let's do a quick comparison, just talk through some of the things you can see, obviously size-wise they're similar. So um, one uh, blade uh, steel, obviously you're getting a better deal with the uh, Spider, not a better deal, but you're getting a better steel with the Spyderco and VG10. Uh, the K-Bar Dozier has AUS 8. Uh, I like AUS 8 uh, more than most people, but VG10, hands down, better steel. Um, let's see. So with the blade, uh, you're definitely getting a better blade with the Delica. I think one of the things that has made the Delica such a great knife or such a popular knife is you just have a nice flat grind. Like most Spydercos nowadays, nowadays um, you have really nothing getting in the way of any cutting. Uh, it's just going to be a beast uh, to cut with. It's going to slice very well. It's going to open packages, slice oranges, you know, do what you need to do uh, very, very well. Um, this guy is not quite as nice. This to me looks like an early Spyderco uh, where they had that kind of hollow grind. Um, you have something like this with the other Dozier. I think this cuts much better. This does not slice poorly, but it is definitely noticeably uh, not as good as this one, not as good as the other Dozier. Um, but like I said, it reminds me of an early Spyderco. If you go look up some of the early Spydercos, you'll see that they have, um, they're not full flat ground. Um, so uh, the opening uh, of these, so you have, I think, pretty much a budget Spyderco option here. On the Delica, I think it's placed perfectly. Uh, you get your full thumb in there. It's very easy to just open. You don't have to readjust your hand. Uh, so you get it and it just opens very easily. On the Dozier here, um, there's not enough of the blade exposed, and so they've tried to do this kind of ellipsis thing here um, where they, you know, you can, I don't know if I can show this, but it's very difficult to actually get your thumb in because really you're pushing up against this left-hand side. If you look at both of these side by side, you can see that this hole is a lot further out and you've got more blade between the hole and the handle, um, which just means that you have enough room to get your finger in there, right? So when you put your finger into the middle of that hole, you have enough room for your entire finger to get down in there, really get a good grip and open it up. With the Dozier here, you don't, right? So you're pushing almost like up against a nail nick um, to get this out as opposed to actually putting your thumb in it and using that to open out. Um, the other issue is that um, the Dozier, both of the Dozers, honestly, are a little bit awkward for me to open because I get to a point where I feel like I have to readjust and I also feel like I'm pushing down up against that pocket clip um, and it's just uncomfortable for me. Um, so I'm kind of pushing up against and because I can't really get a good handle in there, it's not enough for my finger to stay right there. Um, but I'm really pushing up against and down on that pocket clip in order to push this guy open. And honestly, it just doesn't feel all that great. It kind of leaves this mark here, and it just doesn't feel as satisfying as opening uh, the Delica here. Um, okay, besides that, so the scales I mentioned already, um, Spydercos are bi-directional. Um, one, one of the side effects of that means that these will pick up dirt like uh, crazy. So you will have to clean these out with a toothbrush all the time. Uh, they will pick up gunk. I have recently cleaned this one out, so I can't really depict that. Not that you want to see that, um, but uh, but th this will pick up some gunk. However, it's very grippy. You're pushing up against that bi-directional texturing this way. But then when you're pulling out of the pocket, you're pushing up against this way. So that's very well thought out. It kind of fits the spider theme of the knife. Um, these, however, are going to stay a lot cleaner in my uh, kind of uh, experience. Um, they're not going to be quite as grippy, but to me, they're going to be grippy enough uh, for whatever you're doing. Uh, I mean, honestly, you're pulling up against to pull the knife out of the pocket feels, you know, pretty aggressive to me. 
um, you're holding it. it just all in all I think you get a good feel of the knife it helps you really lock up um, no issues there and while I'm speaking about that ergonomically, that's the thing that the, the, the uh, Dozier has always really surprised me on the ergonomics. The Delica, I think, is fairly ergonomic. Uh, it's probably a little bit outdated when you look at some of the other Spydercos where they have, um, you know, a forward finger toil that would take up this space right here. And maybe not this kind of weird um, half finger toiling here. Um, feels fine. No issues at all. Um, but honestly, the... Um, I don't know, the Dozier here, I like it. It's not telling me where to put my hand. It's just a very, it's a it's a big handle, which is very nice, wide, uh, and it's got that texturing. It's thin enough so that it doesn't feel too bulky, but it, it feels like, you know, I've said this before, but the, the back locks on these, they feel like a fixed blade almost. Uh, I, I lock up very well. It's a very comfortable grip for me. I, I would almost say that this is a more comfortable handle than uh, the Delica. Uh, pocket clips, so I'm not really a huge fan of either pocket clip, but the spoon clip that comes on the Delica would, you know, kill this this one. Um, this one, honestly, is pretty terrible, and I think this is, uh, you know, it, it's functional, I guess, I guess. Um, but honestly, this is one of those, one of the areas where you see the money, you know, that you're putting into this comes out in those details. So one of the things most people talk about, and I can say this with the aftermarket clip here because it does the same thing, is that the spoon clip and these clips come down right on the logo there. So you have this texturing. However, when you're sliding this guy in the pocket, and I will use my little handkerchief here, you're sliding it right in there, and so there's no resistance between the clip and the logo down there. The problem is with uh, this guy, they're trying to do that same thing, right? So you see the, the kind of logo there, K-Bar, and they're trying to bring that pocket clip right down onto that logo. The problem is, instead of bringing it down onto the logo, they bring it down onto the lip of the logo right there, which means that where you're sliding in the pocket is not on the lip of the logo, so that it would you know kind of go under the actual logo, but it's on the texturing here. And so in practice, you're pushing, and you can see that right there. You see that resistance that it's giving me right there? When I push up against it, and you see that fold right there? That is pushing up against, and I'm applying more and more pressure, and that's pushing up against that texturing. And so I don't think a lot of people really pick up on this, but when I slide this guy in, minimal creasing there, minimal resistance, and it slides right in. It does catch up on those, uh, those uh, screws right there. Um, but this one, it, it really does push up against that, uh, that texturing there. And so I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, it kind of feels like it's, I know it's not, but it kind of feels like it's tearing up the pocket. Um, and so that's one of those little details that you are getting for your money on the Delica that you're getting in, uh, visually here, but not in practice. Um, other things, both of these have, uh, the, uh, the lanyard holes, if that's your thing, um, honestly, both of these have the same issue where the pocket clip, uh, you can kind of see where the pocket clip goes if it's not there. So you can see where it goes here, 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 and here. Uh, you can see here it goes uh, right there and right there. You cannot carry this guy uh, tipped down. So you can you can reverse it left, right, but you cannot carry it tipped down. Spider code, you can carry it any way that you want. Um, so that's another thing if you like to uh, if you like to do that. Um, quality of the action on these, uh, honestly, the uh, this one to me is a lot better and, and pretty much rivals the Delica in every way. I think that the quality of this back lock is, is straight on par with the quality of the Spyderco lock. Spyderco might be a tad smoother, um, but uh, with this one, and I don't know if it's the coating on the blade, this one is a little bit rougher to me, so the, the Delica absolutely kills it. Um, it might be the coating, it might just be it needs to wear in, but it does feel a little bit rougher to me, a little bit harder to disengage. The Spyderco is, is very smooth, um, so no issues there. All right, is that it? Um, in the pocket, I guess, that's the one thing we didn't really talk about. Um, obviously, this one as it's configured is gonna be better in the pocket with that deep carry clip, at least for me. Um, I think both of these carry very well. The, the Dozier is actually gonna carry a bit smaller because you'll see that it's actually um, at its thickest point. Um, let's see where we'll look at 1.29 inches as opposed to 1.45. So it's a good bit thinner. Uh, it carries up higher. Again, not a fan of the pocket clip, but I think it's it, it does make it easy to grab out. 
I've been very impressed with how this one carries, uh, but I think the, the Delica for, for the size also carries very well. So I think that's about it. Um, you know, the, the Delica, there's no arguing, is an objectively better knife. You write all the specs on paper and you are getting a better knife. However, you're also paying, what, three times, maybe more than three times, um, you know, that money. Uh, so I guess the purpose of this video is to just say like, yes, the Delica is a better knife. There's probably better ways that you can spend that money, um, but it's still a good knife. However, if you want the Delica experience uh, and you want that uh, at a budget price, I, I would encourage you to give the K-Bar Dozier a try. Um, these are some wild colors, I just realized as I put these all out. Um, but you can have each of these knives, you could buy both of these knives for probably half the cost uh, of buying one Delica. And it's giving you a lot of the things that the Delica has to offer. Not everything, and it's definitely not as good. However, it is giving you a lot of the same stuff that the Delica is, is giving you. And so if you wanna try a Delica, see if you like the back lock, if you like those type of handles, that kind of thing, I would encourage you to give one of these a try. It might be a good pre-purchase, um, something that you can carry around and bang up. Um, I can assure you when you get one of these, uh, you, you, you're gonna be so impressed that you're probably not gonna wanna sell it. I, I've been very impressed with, I was so impressed with this one that I bought this one and I'm already thinking about a buying another one like this because uh, I just, I really like it. So hopefully this has been helpful for you and I'll see you next time.